Say that you want to view different parts of the same file side by side in VS Code. One quick way to do that is to actually split the current editor. So I'm going to go up here to the title bar and click on this little split icon. And now VS Code has opened a second editor in the right editor group, um, and the original editor is open over here. Now, it's important to note that these are just different views of the same underlying text data. So although I can scroll through them independently, if I actually make a change in one of the files, so if I rename this to resource, for example, you'll see that it is changed in both of these editor views. So the actual underlying text data is the same between these two, but I have different views of the file. So I can use this, for example, to go and view a different part of the file and while continuing to view the original part of the file over here. If I close this again, I can also use a keyboard shortcut to split the current editor. On Mac, that would be command backslash. On Windows and Linux, that would be control backslash. I can very quickly split the current editor, and if I hit that again, I can keep splitting, get a crazy number of splits here, and then I'll just use command W to start closing some of those. And even though th these files have been edited, uh, you can see the, the, the little dot indicating that these files have been edited, because there is still the original um, editor open, there's at least one editor instance open, it is not prompting me on whether I want to save this yet. If I then go and I close the last instance here, it will prompt me and say, do I want to save the file? And in this case, I'm just going to cancel. So that is editor splitting. You can use it to manage your workspace layout, or you may find other ways to integrate it into your workflow.